hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna be showing you how i achieved this pink bandana french tip now look hope you enjoy this video this set took me so long to do so i had to cut out the non-important bits and just show you the nail art hope you enjoy this video once again if you haven't already please like share and subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so you never miss a video and enjoy so what I'm using is a nail art brush, a really thin long one. If I can find the link down below, I bought this off eBay, I'll link it down below. It came with a, like a whole set of nail art brushes. And I'm using Cha Cha from Nita, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I will link this gel polish down below, I'm using their gel polish brand today. Um, and it's really it's really nice not gonna lie to you i don't really buy gel polish but ever since i've bought this one i use especially their white in like a few of my nail arts in um the sets that i do on like a day-to-day -day basis but yeah and basically what i'm doing is just um drawing the french tip from scratch usually i do this um french tips in all acrylic but i was just like let me just use gel polish especially because it's on myself not gonna lie doing french tips is one of like the longest sets to do especially if you're doing it with acrylic powder only so i was just like you know what let me put my drawing skills to the test because i'm not really a drawer like i'm more of i feel like with acrylic doing french tips with acrylic you can get it much more neater especially because you can use the file to redefine the um smile line but yeah basically i drew it by hand yeah how's everybody doing honestly um i've been like really iffy with my uploads not gonna lie editing is so long guys it really is i understand what all these youtubers say with the whole editing process it's much longer and especially if you want to like be dishing out good content you're gonna have to take time with editing which is what i do and sorry to upload videos to youtube it takes like 40 minutes okay sometimes an hour just to upload a video and then i usually don't even get it on schedule i try to upload on at 8 p.m on wednesdays and sundays but as you guys can see it's not really been you know the best but oh well but yeah also i feel like what's contributing to it is the heat sorry if you're in the uk yeah you know what i'm talking about with the heat these last few weeks guys it's like the weather is trying to kill us all because the heat i can't even sleep at night properly like it's ridiculous like why is it 33 degrees in the uk is so different from 33 degrees when you're on holiday please when i'm on holiday i do not complain about the heat once but in the uk as soon as it reaches above like 27 degrees like the heat is just so unbearable i eat like four ice creams a day sometimes like it's really bad also like if you're a nail tech you know how it is doing nails in the heat like when i tell you the acrylic sets so fast like i was doing a set the other day i literally dipped my brush in the monomer put it in the powder literally um removed the excess monomer i was about to place the bead on the nail tell me why the bead was already dry please i was like no this is not it this is not the one sorry this weather like and now um it's like a must for me to have a fan in the room when i'm doing nails which is so annoying because when i'm filing like the nails the dust is like blowing wherever the fan goes in and it's not like being collected by my dust collector so it's just such an inconvenience but today it rained it's actually friday the 13th no is it friday no today's thursday it's the 13th and it actually rained really heavily today so thank god for that because we needed some form of rain to like cool us down it was just too hot honestly it's like the air is still like there's no um breeze the breeze is hot it's so humid guys i honestly don't want to spend this video complaining about the heat but if you know you know that the heat is just so bad And you guys already know from the first video i recorded of me doing my birthday set that my hand likes to go out of the frame so i apologize for that and in this video i think a few times my bonnet like pops in the frame too sorry but yeah like 
I really apologise about that. I will try to get used to filming my own um, sets properly. Um, but yeah, once again, I apologise because I know how annoying that can be when my hand is out of frame and then you're trying to see something. But yeah, I'm pretty much doing the same thing with the um, Nita gel polish in the colour Cha Cha. And I'm just going over the tips of the nails and painting the French tip. I quite like a deep um, C curve. I don't like it to be like flat and round. I kind of like it to be, you know, exaggerated. So yeah, I'm just making sure that I'm going along the sides and the corners because sometimes like people forget to go along the sides and then you can see like the nude color on the sides, which is not really nice. I find it really tacky, but yeah. So just make sure you do that guys. But yeah, like each time with Nars, I feel like challenging myself. And that's why I did this set because I was like, I don't really do sets involving much extreme nail art, but I'm going to try challenge myself because um, why not? Like with nails, there's so much you can put on your nails. So you might as well try new things. Like my clients know that I hate doing boring sets. Like I really do. Like I like to try new things all the time because if you don't try new things, you're never going to like progress or learn. So that's what I try to do. Yeah. And I apologise if you hear any noises in the background, that's like the fan trying to cool me down because it's like the weather is trying to M all of us. But yeah, what I'm doing now is taking the colour white um, from Nita um, gel polish and I'm just using that to draw the bandana patterns. I tried to like make every nail different because I was looking at different sections of the bandana. I'm not gonna lie, doing this was really hard because um, as you like you guys know like in my cow print video I like to use dotting tools to do nail art but I was just like you can't really use a dotting tool for this one unless you're actually doing the dots of the bandana because there's lots of like swirls and curls and like teardrop um, shaped thingies I don't even know what to call them but yeah so I was just like I need to use a nail art brush for this but I'm really proud of myself for even doing this because it was quite hard it was out of my comfort zone yet again even pink is out of my comfort zone because like i said in my birthday video um i'm more of a purple girl like purple lilac all of that shebang lavender is my field but even then if you don't have me on snapchat add me on snapchat um, my snapchat name is it's clarissa underscore xo because i was asking my snapchat which color i should do out of this hot pink and they have like a baby blue color i'm not too sure what it's called but i will link all their like details down below their instagram page and their website so you can purchase some um gel polishes too but yeah and basically pink was winning so i ended up doing pink so if you want to have a say so in what my next sets are gonna be add me on snapchat and follow me on instagram at glamour underscore and yeah I'm even excited because I've got quite a lot of content coming for you guys. Um, I know people have been messaging me to see my face. Not gonna lie, showing your face on YouTube is really like scary. It is scary, but um, I will be showing my face um, and doing a video on how to start your own nail business and like nail tech advice and stuff because I've been getting a lot of DMs and questions about that so i hope to give you really um useful information about how to start your nail business because that's what a lot of people like to look at on youtube before um beginning their nail journey so i'm just going to give you as much advice as possible what helped me especially because i'm a uni student as well so 
like time is kind of restricted especially like you've got priorities for example like lectures um and just uni work to do in general so i'm obviously just going to give advice on how i managed to balance and manage um running a nail business as well as um balancing my other priorities like school but yeah and i think i said this in my other like um chit chat watch me do my nails that i wanted to do a um nail haul so tell me what companies you want me to buy um and try out products from so that i can like do product swatches and just nail hauls and stuff and nail supply vlogs i really want to do that as well so just tell me um which stores you want me to visit which places you want me to order stuff from and i will um gladly do that just to be providing like interesting content for you guys because i know sometimes it can get repetitive with my um watch me works and stuff but also that practice hand that i said i was gonna get i actually managed to get it i got it from um glitter planet and it's like this silicone like flexi hand i think that's what they call it and guys it's so good i cannot wait to be doing like um tutorials on how i just do my nails on that one because there's only so much i can do with like a client but with a flexi hand i um, i have a choice of like um what set i want to do and just i just have more control because usually the the um videos i record are client requests so they already know what they want it's not really freestyles or anything so that's basically what i'm really excited to do Um, as you can see here, I'm actually using a dotting tool to um, do the dots. If you if you like Google bandana print, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like there's actually, did I do this? I don't even know. Sometimes I like to improvise. So I actually don't even know if there's dots on the bandana. But if there is, then you're going to know. But if there's not, just try like have fun with it. If you recreate this look, tag me in it, please. Because you know that'd be nice to see you guys recreating some um looks that i've done and yeah i'm just going in with a dotting tool to add like um dot effects i don't even know if that's what it's called but just to add dots and then as you can see that i'm using the dotting tool to even draw out some parts i think at this point i was tired guys not gonna lie i do my nails at ridiculous times i think this set took me like four hours to do especially because i was doing my right hand and you guys can see that i'm right-handed so obviously i'm doing my right hand with my non-dominant hand so it took me forever like to do the other hand but yeah like i think at this point i was just tired because i was just like oh this is actually dragging but then i wanted it to look good as well so i was just like you know what i'm just gonna have to pull through and i think i just got lazy and just used the dotting tool because a dotting tool in my opinion is so much more easier to get round edges and stuff it's just not the paint draws on much more smoother but yeah So if you've made it this far in this video, press the subscribe button, press that like button too, press that bell button too, follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter and Snapchat. Once again, thank you for your support, share this video and like and stuff and do the whole shebang.
And now what I'm doing is taking a black gel polish. This is not from Nita. They don't have a black gel polish yet. Um, this is from the Rosalind brand. This is where I got my gel polishes when I first started to do nails. Yeah, when I thought I was going to do gel polish. But no, girl, acrylic powder is the best. But yeah, so um, I got it from a company called Rosalind. I think it's the black is called a number two actually but yeah it's black and i'm just using it to like add extra details because with a bandana there's always a white and a black part so that's what i'm doing i'm using the black to just go in there and like create outlines and extra dots and stuff and i feel like it makes it look better because there's a nice like contrast as well as white and then there's black but yeah Guys, I'm actually whilst recording this um, voiceover. Why are the flies attacking me, please? That's one thing I actually hate about summer: the bugs, the flies. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm sitting here, and the flies are literally just attacking me. And it's just like, is this your territory? Like, you actually belong outside. Why are you here? And it's like they come in through the tiniest gap here, and then you open the window, and they can't even realize that the window is open. I swear, flies have like multiple eyes. So why is it that they cannot see that the window is open and fly out through it like And then what I'm using is my D&D gel top coat. It's no cleanse. It's a really good gel top coat, guys. I only started using this like a month ago or two months ago. And I actually really like it. Like, And it's cheap, guys. It's 20, it's, I said it's 28. It's £8 from um, the Hollywood website. And I think you can get it. They have their own website too. You can get it from the D&D website as well. But I buy mine from um, Hollywood Nail Supplies when I get my, you know, regular supplies and it's really cheap and it's really surprising because it's actually a really good gel polish and gel top coat like is usually expensive like i don't think i've seen a gel top coat like under 10 pound like probably 9.99 but that's basically 10 pound but yeah like it's really good for the price
And here's the finished look guys. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Press the notification bell so you never miss a video. And I'll be back with more videos guys. Once again, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it.